Let's get started with the biggest game on the slate for you and I. Number two, Ohio State at number 13, Penn State. This is the big noon game, noon Eastern time. And we got our Fox fan question here, our yeah. Wendy's fan question, excuse me, from Lexi asking, does Penn State have a chance against Ohio State? So Ohio State is favored by 16, according to Fox Bet. The over-under on this game is 61. I'm going to ask Jeff about this, but first I need to lay out a take because I got to take, Jeff, I got to take. Okay, go ahead. 22 Ohio State is a lot like 18 Clemson, okay? 2018 Clemson. Average 44.3 points per game, allowed 13.1 okay. points per game, 15 and 0 national champs. 2022 Ohio State is averaging 49.6 points per game and allows just under 15 at 14.9. They're 7 and 0, right? Now, the real problem for Ohio State with most folks is this triggering thought that nobody that they have played has turned out to be any good. As a matter of fact, the teams they played have a combined losing record. But this is not that dissimilar from what Clemson was facing in 2018. As a matter of fact, Clemson played just two ranked opponents before playing in the ACC title game, and those ranked opponents were North Carolina State and Boston College. If the rankings hold, Ohio State will play two ranked opponents in the regular season, Penn State this week and yeah. Michigan around Thanksgiving, uh, November 26th. Sure. But in as far as Penn State is concerned, do they have a chance? Well. Penn State has not beaten Ohio State more than once since 2012 and never in the Ryan Day era, which is another right. way of saying they've beaten Ohio State as many times as Michigan has <laughs> since 2012. So <laughs> in the infamous words of Mary, yeah. who was asked by Lloyd, is there any chance of, you know, us being together? And she says one in a million. I put it better than one in a million for Penn State, but celebrate that there is a chance and you have this game in Happy Valley and Ohio State has proven they'll start slow. And if you can yeah. capitalize on them starting slow, you have an opportunity to upset them. But Jeff, I don't see this one being that difficult for Ohio State. Is that too strong for you? Uh, no, it's not too strong for a couple of things about, as you mentioned, kind of Ohio State in totality. Mm. I think when teams, excuse my language, kick the ass of other teams routinely, <laughs> They're a good football team, right? Like, would you rather your team eke by wins? Or if you're a dominant team like Ohio State, you just beat them up. You beat them up, right? You beat them to a pulp. And defensively, I saw you tweet this this week about Jim Knowles, like coach of the year, right? I mean, to change that defense to, to what it's become, fabulous, right? Like, they deserve all the credit there. And, and I think that the only thing that makes me think, okay, maybe Ohio State gets slowed down this game is we've just seen it's very hard to play on the road. Right. Like we've seen team after team after team go on the road the last couple of weeks and really struggle to, to put away the opponent and, and, and in, in, in the end win. But my problem with Penn State, RJ, is are they going to score like <laughs> 28 points? Right. Like, look, let's say Ohio State doesn't play well offensively. Right. They're still going to score, let's say, at least 24 points. Right. Like, is Penn State going to score? 27 in this game like i just don't think they're going to score enough points to, to keep up with ohio state even if ohio state doesn't play well early on well that's a very good point that you raised there and for those that uh are new to this ohio state usually puts up points and stops people from putting up points this season the reason i want to say new to this is because ohio state hasn't had a defense like this since 2019 yep. Yep. they have not given up more than 21 in a game so far this year and i don't give a damn who you're playing that's really great and jim Knowles, i think is a front runner for the broils award this year and he yes. should be but to your point referencing the 27 i think that's a really interesting statistic to take a look at because that has been what it's gonna take for Ohio State uh, to beat Penn State in the years past, Ohio State is 16-0 when the Buckeyes score 27 or more against Penn State. Again, the Buckeyes are averaging damn near 50 a game. Now, for the Penn Staters listening, there is hope, and it is in the form of one Katron Allen and one Nick Singleton, the dynamic duo in the backfield. Sean Clifford is going to have to play flawless football. Don't put the ball on the carpet and don't throw the ball to the other team. And Joey Porter Jr. is going to have to take away either Omega Egbuka or Marvin Harrison Jr. If he well, does good, that, good we're all going to be talking about Joey Porter Jr. in the first round of the NFL draft. We still might be, but that's a tall task because it feels like Ohio State just has too many weapons that it can deploy to beat you, whereas Penn State 
has very little margin for error. And, and that's the really hard part about these matchups. And, you know, at times we see, um, you know, not to go back to last weekend, but like Oregon just had more dudes than UCLA. Like sometimes it's just that simple. Like you, you play a game close for a while and just in the end, the better dudes win, right? Clemson had better dudes in Syracuse. Like Syracuse came out smoking, fumble recovery, 95 yard touchdown. And in the end, the, the second dude, the second quarterback, right? Like he comes in and, and helps them win. Like it's at some point that matters. And Ohio State just has so many guys. You, you, you just mentioned the small margin of error for Penn State. So I don't, I, I would, I'd, I'd be okay taking them like plus a 16 and a half, whatever that number is. But to win the game, no, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't do that. So the game, is, uh, the number is 16. So it sounds like you're comfortable with that, but not to win. Thank you for watching the number one college football show. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that you don't miss any of the best college football coverage in America.